I welcome all my automation crew team here and we are so excited to be back in the new year 2023. Hello. We just had an announcement for UiPath MVPs for 2023 and it's so exciting to see some known faces, some old friends and also a lot of new community members joining in in this coveted group. So I'm very excited and I wanted to have uh, all of us get together and chat about what we have really liked about this community in 2022 and what are our plans for the coming year so that being said uh, i would invite priya to share her thoughts first over to you priya sure thanks for four time and... mvp welcome welcome yeah yes. she's the senior most <laughs> she's the senior most mvp in this uh, in the, on this crew so uh, yeah well Welcome. thank you so much and congratulations to you both as well i mean like this crew has proved time and again that like we are like rock stars in our own areas and like you know this time we also have these categories and i'm so excited that like we all overlap on the apps and the ai and we have like the similar kind of interest which is really nice so just looking back into last year last year was like really important for me personally and professionally so it was there were multiple milestones and i'm really enjoying every moment of it but um the best thing that i loved was uh, meeting all the MVPs in person at Seattle with the MVP summit, which has never happened in the previous years, because we all give all these like, you know, product feedback to the people over emails or like on Zoom calls. And we all use that insider portal, but you know, like nothing beats like an in-person conversation. So we uh, got hold of our product managers for like several hours we didn't let them go <laughs> we kept yeah. on like giving our list of things that we liked and we did not like so there was a lot of uh, good brainstorming sessions that we had and uh, for me that was like personally very um, valuable and also a lot of people reached out on linkedin for uh, guidance here and there and i'm so happy to see like a couple of new mvps that i was talking to and now they've become mvps so it makes me like uh, really over the moon like to see people like growing and like having a community like expand right now so going forward for 2023 I look forward to all the AI craze that's going on right now. So we'll definitely be jumping on that bandwagon. And I'm so glad that we also have that as our categories. So that's really going to be helpful for me to expand my knowledge in other areas as well and see how we can uh, help the community grow using our expertise here. Very well said, Priya. Very yep. well said. I, it was really I, fun last year, no doubt about it. Uh, so Andy, why don't you share your thoughts? Well, uh, thank you guys. And uh, first off, congratulations to the newly minted MVPs of 2023. We have been through this journey before. So I think for the newly minted MVPs, uh, it's time for action this year. And we will, uh, we will be looking forward to um, all the new uh, comers and uh, maybe there are a lot of opportunities for uh, collaboration and skill sharing and 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 an explosion of ideas right and um, the next thing I would like to uh, say is congratulations to yeah you know Priya and Pradeep for making it this year because uh, we are looking forward to making more content on the automation rocket ship channel um, and we started this on a whim last year it was just a couple of lines of discussion in one of our MVP meetings and and lo and behold we were on our way to producing the content for the rocket ship channel and uh, thank you very much for the support because uh, we are 70 subscribers strong uh, but uh, we are hoping to um, you know grow further this year and um, which takes us back to last year you know I also host my RPA Vanguard channel and I allowed sharing what I think people require to be uh, competent in in uh, in the industry because whether you are a UI, a UI path MVP or not uh, when uh, when you learn something when you learn the subject and when you join the workforce 
uh, you are not going to be tasked with just building a functionality of uh, of a process you might be tasked with the challenge of building the entire process right and that's what i try to bring through my channel is not just one concept but a string of concepts that that we can put together and uh, like priya said that's where a lot of our skills will overlap and then uh, you know all members of this community can share uh, their inputs to uh, to uh, to contribute towards the enrichment of this community uh, so i love love doing that and thank you very much because we my channel hit 500 subscribers uh, uh, you know at the end of uh, last year and i'm hoping to uh, get more content out uh, and and uh, enrich it further uh, and another thing for this year and i think priya also said it is this is the year of transformation the um, the way in which we learn the way in which we consume information the way in which we consume services especially on the technology part is going to change radically because ai is on is the new kid on the block and it is knocking on our doorstep and uh, i think that uh, in this year to come and in the future we have to learn to retool ourselves and uh, live with uh, ai as um, a commodity in our lives and we have to learn how to um, how to use it and live with it uh, regardless of what our profession is so yeah. once again i'm really happy to be back with the crew uh, with the ui path community as the mvp for 2023 and thank you very much for your support thank you andy thank you yeah that was uh, to the point and uh... I was, uh, if you ask me about it, I was a rookie for 2022, right? Uh, so I, uh, when I started my journey as an MVP, um, I started primarily just uh, writing use cases, some blogs. I was not into into uh, doing podcasts or, or YouTube channel at all. And uh, very rightly in one of the conversations during our MVP uh, monthly meetings, uh, the idea was shared that okay, there is uh, there is a gentleman Andy. He <laughs> he is he threw an idea that okay, we should have a channel where uh, multiple MVPs can come together and uh, and uh, see what it does right and where it goes. And that's how it all started. And I was I was pretty uh, stoked stoked to see that idea because I was also thinking the same way right? why would I just be all by myself and just <laughs> talk about it right with that that's uh, that's too much in in certain way for me so I, I always preferred like the dialogue the conversation the story behind the automation but that that's that's it's all about right, right. so it all worked perfectly well Priya and Priya, myself, uh, Andy, we all got together and uh, it was an instant hit, to be honest, like in terms of uh, how we think, how we think through ideas, how we think through a topic from the ideation to the completion. It was uh, least preparation and uh, we could we could record sessions without even any preparation. We have done that for some for some uh, episodes. Um, we in 2022 in our channel we actually went uh, did a deep dive for certain topics and those were really uh, loved by uh, community members our audiences and like priya said there were a lot of uh, follow-ups uh, not just through the youtube channel but through other social media platforms and that's very encouraging to see that uh, folks notice what kind of content we uh, present here uh, we are not just talking about basic ideas, but we are talking about how those small building blocks end up uh, uh, enterprise level solution, because that's where the end goal is for any software engineer, uh, no matter which technology background they come from. But when we are talking about automation, automation is primarily works uh, in a way that spawns its threads across multiple systems. And then you have to build interconnections, share information and uh, build on top of it, right? So, and that is uh, what 
our objective has been and we'll continue to uh, work on that uh, like um, Andy and Priya both have said that uh, this is the kind of uh, age of AI or I would say AI has become democratic so it's available yes. it's it's right. ease of availability accessibility is what makes it reach out to the general people and that's what makes everyone interested in it so uh, given our uh, our own personal interests professional interests and our background of building complex solution and sharing those end to end i think uh, that would be the right path going forward for us uh, and i would i would be very excited to build something like that where we build deep dive sessions uh, multiple sessions and break out pick out a particular use case and break it out into piece by piece uh, it just not it doesn't just help our community members but it helps us too right in order to you cannot be uh, teaching something if you're not learning out of it Exactly. Right. So whenever we try to explain something, we learn a little bit about it ourselves as well. So that's that's the goal. Uh, I at least that's that's my goal to go through it because I always pick things uh, how Priya thinks about certain certain scenario, how Andy approaches a particular problem, uh, and that in some cases it's the same how I would approach, but in some cases it's entirely different. and that's that's the beauty that's the beauty of all three of us coming together and presenting it uh, i would just add one more thing that we really uh, loved doing it last year was interviewing some other mvps uh, we had uh, lahiru and rajneesh and few other folks coming in we had few more uh, uh, technical practitioners from rpa and intelligent automation uh, domain area Uh, that we have been in uh, constant contact so hopefully they will also be part of our uh, next episodes and we'll get to talk to them and learn from them yeah um, i mean we would love to talk to people if they have their ideas to contribute right I absolutely mean, the automation rocket ship channel is not just a just a, a you know show and tell about uh, all code and uh, no play uh, we are open to conversations and what you have uh, to contribute in terms of ideas in terms of being critical thinkers or free thinking right and we would welcome uh, you know uh, you to this channel and have you contribute your ideas um, and and uh, and spread them through the community that's it andy i, I think uh, that's that's our main goal our intention of this channel is mainly to collaborate with other mvps who have this title and hold this like you know intense knowledge and they have like various portals so we want to be able to like showcase their knowledge as well yep. and share their thoughts so that like we can also learn from it like what pradeep was saying it's 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 you know it is it goes without saying all teachers once were learners right it, it goes without saying and therefore uh, one mustn't feel intimidated uh, by the fact that they are learning or if they are teaching because some day the teachers were once upon a time learners so uh, you know these two go hand in hand so we shouldn't be intimidated by neither right yeah, absolutely so, yeah. learning is a process and learning is an uh, one of the things i read somewhere learning is an award of its own yep. you do not need a, a separate motivation for learning your knowledge that you acquire that itself is a motivation to keep learning more keep exploring right. more right. um with that uh with that i'm um, again congratulations to everyone congratulations to andy and priya again uh they have been a uh, beacon for this community for for a long long time and uh, i'm just following the path and i'm really happy to be part of this group and sharing uh, my knowledge and learning at the same time with the community and congratulations right to everybody yeah congratulations yeah. to all the mvps and all the community wow. members and i would say uh like subscribe to our channel and post your questions um so we can uh, we can include your ideas your vision and if if you have really a great idea then please come on board on our channel and we will be listeners and you can share your thoughts yep 
Absolutely. Absolutely. So with that being said, thank you again and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Thank you everybody. Bye. -bye. bye.